welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for your presence here. I am the organizer advisor, Dr. Lisa Winfield, and my goal is to help you enhance your happiness and transform your life. Today is our Spiritual Creative Sunday. Our Spiritual Creative Sunday is the day we restore our spirit and our soul. And we do this through worship, if uh, whatever faith you follow, and we create. Now, getting into that energy of creative expression is so revitalizing to our soul. It's such a high vibrational um, feeling to be creating something. So Sundays are going to be our days that we really spend a little time creating according to what inspires us. This could be crafts, it could be gardening, cooking, sewing, painting, woodwork, um, knitting, whatever really helps you express your authentic self. So think about that today. And if you um, have some creative ideas or creative inspirations, comment below and share us Share with us and our community how you're expressing your authentic self. Now, additionally on Sundays, we have some strategies that we employ, and I just posted a video about that. But our successful strategies for Sundays are we clean our purse, we plan our wardrobe, we plan our menu, we plan a, a weekly budget, we get our grab-and-go binder in order, we wash our makeup, brushes, and sponges and all of our things that we use to clean our face and we also wash and sterilize our facial masks so check out that video it gives you a little bit more information now what's our goals for today um, remember our health and beauty for our health and beauty we don't have a really health and beauty routine for today except um, I like to use this day to get my um, my protein shake powders all organized and in little containers. I posted a little uh, video about that and then I get my vitamins ready. So that's my health and beauty for today. But remember, you need hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. So keep yourself vital by hydrating. Also take your vitamins if you do. Those are optional. It depends on what your belief system is on vitamins. And also um, we take time to meditate and 15 minutes of exercise this week. So if you're following along with uh, Yoga with Adrienne, I posted um, a link to her YouTube channel. She's doing a 30-day challenge. It's a great opportunity to do some healthful yoga and mindful practices. So uh, that's our health and beauty routines for today. Our cleaning goal for today is we're going to start in a linen closet. I will post a video on how to clean your linen closet. And this is just one of those little small spaces where we can see immediate results and then revisit our success to keep us motivated throughout our organizational transformational journey. So go ahead and clean out your linen closet. You may want to watch that video and it'll give you some inspiration and some ideas on how to present your linen closet so it's not an overcrowded, overcluttered space, but it's a space where you feel where you're refreshed and it sets a template for what the rest of our home will look like when we're finished with our organizational journey. Also, we are going to continue with our important documents that we keep on our home safe. Today is your social security card. So you want to get your social security card. A lot of us older folks um, carry our social security cards in our wallets or we used to. That's really not safe anymore. So you want to take your social security card out of your wallet or wherever you have it stored and put it into one of your page protectors in your home safe binder. And I actually put mine in a um, manila envelope and then I put it into a Ziploc bag. Why? Because if there is a fire and the firemen come in and hose down everything with water to put out the fire, my safe is waterproof and fireproof, but just as added insurance, I like to have it in zip top bag to give it a little extra protection. So that's what I do with all my important documents. Next, um, we want to continue with our rainbow closet strategy. So today's color is orange. So we've done our reds. 
and we've categorized our rents in our closet and so the next color is orange so go ahead and grab all of your orange clothing items and group them together get your accessories have sc hats scarves purses uh, whatever shoes and jewelry and go ahead and start to categorize those so that you have the second segment of your rainbow closet now uh, let's see what else do we have um, another um, suggestion for you today is to uh, do some advanced prep with your meals and that will help to reduce some of your stress when it comes to meal preparation time okay so I think that is our day today check out the subsequent videos and the previous videos that I've posted I know I'm doing a lot of front loading um, for this um, New Year's process however um, as it goes on we'll just refer back to those videos now um, I wish that you are um, I hope that you are enjoying this process so far it's going to seem a little discombobulated in the beginning because there's so much information coming but please trust my process I do this every year multiple times a year and this is what works so I am going to leave you on that note uh, remember to hydrate and if you're gonna do yoga with Adrian get your yoga mat that's what I'm gonna do next so until then I'll see you next time love you